Hello everybody, my name is Ash. And my name is Travis. Great to have you guys back with us for yet another video. So we've alluded to it in other videos, but we've never actually talked about it specifically, and that is our new marker tape. The scenarios of which, when you want to use it and not use it. So for a good example, right now on the table, I have this long metal bar. You want to use it for an item that's nice and smooth, large open areas of smoothness. Now this isn't open, but it's narrow, so that'd be a perfect spot, save you a lot of time of just placing down the marker tape. And as you can see, all the markers on it are randomly placed. So that really makes it easy for tracking because they're all randomly placed already on top of there. Also, you can also kind of use it for a magic mat type. If you don't have a magic mat, you can simply place the marker tape on the table itself and then put your item that you need to scan right in between the, magic, the marker tape. And as for something that you would not necessarily want to use for marker tape, this would be a perfect example. A ton of features and there's nothing smooth or flat about it at all. This would be a horrible idea. So again, anything that is smooth, flat, open spaces or narrow face spaces, but the key is it needs to be flat and smooth. Okay, Metro X is ready for action. Here we choose, yes, metallic shiny object, just in because we're scanning a pretty shiny object. And here, as I, well, I would like to point out is this, preset point distance, what does that mean? It means how much quality the preview page provides. And remember, it doesn't affect the final quality, which means that you can scan it at a whatever distance you like, and the result will be all the same. And the difference is, like minimum, it can be set as 0.3 millimeters. The smaller number this is, the render quality of your preview page will be more beautiful. And if you don't mind that, like you can put the, this number pretty big, like 1.5 millimeters. It won't affect the final result. It's just gonna make your scan faster if you are willing to sacrifice the quality, the visual quality of your preview page only. Okay, so let's do that in 1.5 and give it a try. There we go. Okay, and I would like to address, address again about this marker block kit. It's really handy. Like I can even shovel the, the half dome, half in this metal piece so I can provide better tracking for me. And also somewhere Travis didn't cover with the marker tape on the table, I can just easily place a, another dome there. So always good to have a marker block kit with you. Okay, that's a good 10,000 frames. So, yeah, a 
looks all good to me. Save it and start another scan. All right, and here we go for the second portion of the scan. Ash just got finished with the one side. I just flipped it over. And this one, there's some certain parts I wanna draw your attention to. Obviously here, I need to spend a little more time at that crevice. Make sure that you capture this well. I'm gonna to have to really adjust my angle to make sure I'm capturing the point clouds from all areas. And also something I wanna mention, because we're gonna be merging these two pieces later, make sure you really spend some time on the ends because the ends actually have some feature-rich areas that you can later connect. See these little rectangles and squares? Get a good point cloud capture of both these sides so that you can, it'll make your merging that much easier later in the video. With that being said, let's get going and let's get a, this thing all scanned. All right, I already have it set, cross lines, marker tracking, talc shiny object, good to go. So yeah, here I'm really trying to get those edge pieces because those will be the two existing sides, you know, that are consistent with both scans so that we can merge it easier. And I'm really seeing the benefit of having that marker tape that we added also to the table, kind of acting as a magic mat in that way, just for giving the scanner a few extra pieces to track. It's definitely helpful. So here we go again, again on this end, I want to spend a little more time capturing the point clouds here.
All right, there we go. Let's edit this. Okay, let's skip the editing part because it's nothing new. Now, let me show you how to merge it. Well, actually, I did already merge one result, which doesn't succeed. I'll show you the reason. Okay, first, let's put them uh, the position be more intuitive to ourselves. And, yep, that's good. Okay, three points. One. Okay, two, two, here, three, three, here, okay. Okay, as you can see, now it seems to be ready, but it's not, because look at the other end, it's not quite aligned, right? Okay, compared to the, to the first end. Okay, now let's try to, to, try to fix it. Number one, two, three. Let me find another side. No, no, no. The other side. Okay, uh, you can select more than three sets of spots. So let's do a uh, number four here and here. Okay, now you see actually the two four spots are not exactly with each other together. Why? I'll show you. First, let's do another set of spots, see if we can fix this problem. Five. Okay, done. So, now with more than three, actually we did like five groups of numbers, we succeeded in aligning them together perfectly. Okay, now let's generate a model. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the previous one, which is what I showed you, the misalignment. And remember the number four, the two spots are not quite aligned with each other, which it shouldn't be because manual alignment, it should align exactly the same position of two points. The reason this is happening is because actually rebel point merging, the rebel scan merging function is gonna, the software will try to fix some of the mistake you make. Like, the two spots you make in the number one, number two, number three, maybe they are not 100% well precisely aligned with each other. Then the software will try to fix that for you. But sometimes the fixing is, you know, using the, the feature of this object, try to align, realign them together for you. And this time the software think it might doing a great job, but actually it's not. So how to deal with that is, now this happens most likely the feature not very rich object like this metal piece. So for these pieces, try to select more groups of number of spots, like what we did, like five instead of only three groups. Okay, and another is, instead of the two far ends, try to have another area in the middle and select several groups of numbers of spots, try to make the alignment much better, so that you can have a perfect alignment of the merging of the object. Okay, I'll skip the meshing and the fill holes because that's nothing new. Hope you like it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.